Hello YouTube, this is the Adventure Waste Channel and uh, I am Reese. and today I am talking about this uh, uh, knockoff uh, fuel can, knockoff Rotopacks, it's uh, made in China, but uh, heck, it's only, I think I paid 23 bucks for it. It is actually a lot more heavy duty than I thought it would be. Uh, it's called a long haul, it's a 1.3 gallon and it comes with the uh, attachments, you know, to uh, hook it on to your bike. Uh, I'm going to kind of modify the attachments a little bit to, to sit flat on my uh, on my rear cargo uh, carrier. Uh, I'm going to drill holes right into my rear cargo carrier. You can probably see the little marks I've already put in there. I'm going to drill some holes in there. And a student, instead of using that, it comes with some U-bolts. Uh, Looks like the to go around some kind of like... Uh, rounded pipe or whatever to, to put it on. Uh, I'm going to put it flat and just run some uh, stainless steel uh, bolts into this uh, attachment here. That's, that's what holds it on. I'm just going to run some stainless steel bolts underneath and up through to hold that on on the, my uh, carrier. Anyway, yeah, I mean... Uh, super inexpensive and like I said it's a lot more heavy duty than I thought it'd be it's super thick plastic and uh, so far I, I, I liked it and uh, like I haven't used it yet but the quality seems to be pretty good and uh, ADV 690 is the one that turned me on to it his, his program so I'll get back to you later and uh, I'm gonna install it and I'll show you when it's installed thanks Okay, I uh, instead of these U bolts that come supply with it, which didn't look like it worked very good with my rear carrier, I uh, drilled some holes in my carrier. See, uh, on the bottom there, I uh, have stainless steel, drilled some holes, and attached it with stainless steel uh, bolts and uh, lock washers, and that's in the uh, the uh, and tightened up real good and it uh, fits on just like that of course uh, there's a there's a tightener that goes uh, a tightener that goes in there and then you, you just screw it in uh, screw it in and tighten it so I'll get back to you and I'll uh, completely install it and I'll show you how it uh, turned out thanks okay here's the final uh, install here have it all set up went on pretty easy just had to lift up my uh, cargo carrier and kind of tighten it up a little bit but like I said I uh, exchanged the hardware they gave me it was actually really cheap hardware and I put more uh, sturdier uh, stainless steel bolts screws and I mean uh, bolts and uh, nuts and uh, lock washers on it to hold it in place but uh, you know it's on there it's uh I'll put a link to the uh, eBay site where I got it. I think it was like $23, $24, something like that, with the uh, hardware that came with it. It uh, came in about, I don't know, three or four days. And uh, so, so far, I'm happy with it. Uh, I haven't put gas in it yet, but if it does turn out to be not holding gas, I will... Uh, make another video and tell you guys about it but uh, so far looks good I mean it, it's not too big it gives me actually 50 percent more gas uh, I, I hold 2.6 gallons in this DRZ and uh, this is a 1.3 gallon tank so gives me an, about a half a tank more mileage there uh, so plenty of gas not too big. I could still fit something on top of it. You know, I could strap something down with bungee cords, you know, a bag or whatever. So, looks pretty decent. Not too expensive. So, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. And I will be getting some more uh, videos out here later. It's a little bit cold today. It's about 30 degrees right now. So, uh, when it gets uh, springtime, I'll be back to you. Thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Thank you.